हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल घर से गुरुकुल एज इट्स रेनी सीजन एंड वी सी क्लाउड्स एवरीवेयर इन द स्काई समटाइम्स इट रेन्स हेवली एंड समटाइम्स इट डजेंट क्लाउड्स दे जस्ट कम एंड गो हैव यू एवर थॉट व्हाई इज इट सो that some clouds bring heavy rain some only bring light shower and some clouds they don't bring rain at all well it's because all the clouds are different all clouds are not the same so today let's learn about clouds their type and difference in their formation so depending on height density transparency of clouds and expanse they are of four types cirrus clouds stratus clouds cumulus clouds and nimbus clouds let's understand them one by one first as cirrus clouds so cirrus clouds got their name from the word cirrus which means wisp of hair they got this name because they are very thin and are feather like clouds cirrus clouds are high altitude clouds they are found at an altitude of 8 to 12 km and are often formed of ice crystals and water droplets because of which they are always white in color Only type of cirrus clouds are cirrostratus clouds. Second type of clouds are cumulus clouds. Cumulus clouds got their name from the word cumulo which means heap or pile. This type of cloud look like cotton pods and in the sky they look like big pile of cotton. These clouds are found at an altitude of 4 to 7 kilometers and they generally have a flat base. Cumulus clouds are often patchy and scattered, but when they come closer to each other, there becomes good chances of rain and these clouds are bigger than cirrus clouds. Cumulus clouds can further be divided into two types on the basis of their height. cirrocumulus and altocumulus cirrocumulus are cumulus clouds found at an altitude of 7 km they are called so because they are just below cirrus clouds and are highest among cumulus clouds so they get their name from both of them while altocumulus clouds are the lowest of cumulus clouds and they are found above the altitude of 2 kilometers third type of clouds are stratus clouds stratus means layers or blanket in the sky these are called so because they are horizontal layer clouds these are low altitude clouds and are found below 2 kilometers in the sky they are often found in white and gray color these clouds often form mist or fog during winters but not always if there is a stratus cloud and it's hot outside then there are good chances of rain fourth type of clouds are nimbus clouds nimbus is a word synonym of a circle of light or halo these clouds bring heavy lightning and thunderstorm nimbus clouds are also called rain These clouds are often found in dark gray color and produce heavy rainfall. Their precipitation reaches the ground as rain, hail, snow, or sleet. These clouds are densely formed due to which they are opaque and are spread typically across the sky. These are of two types. First is cumulus nimbus clouds. and second type of nimbus cloud is 
nimbostratus or stratonimbus clouds. So nimbostratus or stratonimbus clouds are dark blanket type clouds with rain falling out of it. If these clouds are warm then it is sure sign of rain. If they are cold then it is sign of snow. If they are near the ground then they form fog. These clouds are found when weather is cold and there is moisture in the air. Nimbostratus are multi-level clouds. They are clearly defined in shape or form. They are dark grey in color and are found at an altitude of 500 to 5500 meters. Next is Cumulus Nimbus clouds. Cumulonimbus word is made from two Latin words cumulo which means heaped and nimbus means rainstorm. So, cumulonimbus means dense to varying vertical clouds which are made of water vapor. These clouds are formed at an altitude of 200 to 4000 meters. That's not all, but their topmost or their peak reaches to approximately 12000 meters. So, these clouds are flat at base. When these clouds are vertically developed, they extend across three cloud regions and are the largest clouds of all. Cumulus nimbus are puffy black cloud with rain falling out of it. These clouds occupy all three layers of cloud as they spread all over due to their thickness. These clouds are also capable of producing extreme weather conditions such as tornadoes and hailstones. These towering cumulonimbus clouds are accompanied by small cumulus clouds and these clouds occupy several kilometers across altitudes starting from low to medium. So that's all on clouds from Gharka Gurukul today. Stay tuned for more interesting topics. Till then, please like, share and subscribe Gharse Gurukul.